So, um, CJ Miller, I'm in Shreveport, Louisiana. I'm sitting at my keyboard. Uh, I don't play with this thing enough. I'm doing some uh, house cleaning. That's why I um, kind of look a little uh, rough. I needed to sit down and take a break for a moment. Uh, getting behind the dressers, the desk, the stuff. You know, I've accumulated some things. And uh, yeah, dust loves to hide underneath all that stuff. Even when you sweep it, the currents push off all the little dirt and the dust and everything. Even even uh, mopping doesn't really get everywhere. So that means sometimes you got to move stuff out, get on hands and knees with a sponge or a towel or whatever, you know. Um, uh, I, and please don't think I'm being OCD about it. <laughs> I'm not like most of the movies where, uh, oh, uh, the mommy dearest where, uh, uh, you know, Faye Dunaway is on, on the you know, on the floor scrubbing and just you ranting at the dirt. I'm not like that, but yeah. Uh, every once in a while, I've got to move stuff around a little bit, pull things out from the walls and get behind there or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and then in doing so, I decided I don't really sit at uh, uh, the Hamzer, uh, <laughs> if that's how you say it. Uh, <laughs> I don't sit at the keyboard. Uh, well enough. I actually have this uh, book for chords that I was going to really get into sometime and then I sort of have it. So maybe I should now, right? Uh, this is what you would call an A plus augmented triad. Curious because <laughs> there's only two notes in this chord. But this is the same as, is it? Really? Yeah, I guess that's the closest right there. Okay, so this, so it did this has kind of the same effect as this. So I can hear it in the chord. And then, um, so curious, there's a, there's another formation where it's almost the same thing. You just add another, uh, I'm sitting here talking, but it's like, oh, so let me see. Huh. Whatever. Okay. Some of these things, it's like, good Lord, I gotta use all five of my fingers. I gotta use seven fingers on one chord. No, I'm just, uh, no, but it's like, um, I like the simple stuff. You know, I think what this is gonna be one of these things that I'm just gonna have to learn the simple chords go through and learn the ones that require maybe two or three notes to be played at a time. get really good at that, put them together, make my own little compositions in my little head, uh, which I'll tell you what I do uh, in any sort of uh, composing, be it on a guitar or be it with uh, words or anything like this, or even just tapping out a rhythm or something. It's very, uh, oh my God, it's almost nursery school, the level of... <laughs> You know, like if you if you ever listen to like a little kid in their playpen and they're like making little song noises, that's that's really the the level of my composing. <laughs> but I suppose composing is better than decomposing. So, a fun little pun there. Um, but uh, <laughs> it's like. And yeah, I need to, I need to really go through this thing and, uh, you know, find some things that I do well with, uh, and, uh, learn some chords. I, 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 I was going to do that, uh, starting around the first of the year of, uh, last January and, oh my God, it's, uh, 
May almost into June, and I haven't done too much with that. But I've also been working on harmonica. I've been working with uh, hand percussion. I've been working with uh, um, guitar, kind of uh, working on uh, building rhythms and getting better with that. And those things have been successful. I just really and, and have gotten into I was getting a piece of uh, fluff off of the key there. Uh, I really just haven't really gotten into this keyboard work like I wanted to. Uh, and everything that I do here is just kind of like a, a what's the word um, improvisational you know and uh, which is great but very limited when you only have like a couple of chords at your disposal <laughs> sounds very progressive like just up and down a scale whatever it is that I do but it's very rhythmic or whatever I don't know <laughs> I think my big inspiration, if there is an inspiration, is probably like bottom, bottom rung. When you think of like the late seventies and early eighties with the horror movies being the zeitgeist, there were, there were a lot of made for TV thriller and horror movies and suspense and whatever. They were essentially horror movies, but without the blood and, and the, guts but everything else like when they went to like show a kill they would kind of like cut away from uh the scene would like uh eh, you know so that we'd get a, we'd get a lot of that but then the theme music was always kind of creeping you know and uh it was basically just someone creating an atmosphere with music rather than an actual composition it sounded a lot like a Wait, no, that's way out of key. <laughs> that's um, Beethoven, right? You know, the, the the joke, you know, Ludwig von uh, Beethoven uh, once told his uh, chambermaid that uh, he was like, Lily, you inspire me. She said, ha, 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 ha. Uh, what else? I don't really know anything. Peace, love, bye, good night. Oh, wish me luck with this. <laughs> I need it, right? 